AI is everywhere right now. And honestly, it is revolutionary. It's making us more productive, helping us write better code, depending on who you ask. And it's automating tasks that we used to spend hours on. The narrative is simple right now. Just adopt AI, wrap it in a nice interface, sell it to businesses, and you can seemingly get rich overnight. ChatGPT wrappers are everywhere right now, and you can't scroll through LinkedIn or even YouTube without seeing someone who has launched an AI agency last month, and is now supposedly making over six figures. No-code AI tools are also popping up everywhere, promising that you can build AI solutions without any sort of technical background. But here is what I've learned building actual AI systems for my companies. That narrative is missing a massive piece of the puzzle because while everyone's focused on the service level AI gold rush, there's a real AI skills gap happening behind the scenes. And it's not about prompt engineering or learning to use ChatGPT better. It's about the fundamental infrastructure and engineering challenges that companies are struggling with right now. Real problems that are preventing most AI projects from actually working in production. I'm Suleiman, I've been in tech for more than a decade. And in the last five years, I've been running my own tech companies in consulting, software, and education. In this video, I'm going to show you what's really happening behind the scenes why 80% of AI projects are failing and where the actual opportunities are for engineers who understand what companies are actually struggling with. And no, it's not setting up an AI automation agency for Gazi. Here is what actually happens when companies try to implement AI beyond simple demos and prototypes. You can build an impressive AI chatbot that works perfectly in testing. But when you try to scale it up, integrate it with real business systems and make it secure enough for enterprise use, everything becomes exponentially more complex. And I've seen this pattern repeatedly. Companies spend months building AI features that work great in isolation, but fall apart the moment that they need to work with real business infrastructure. Why does this happen? Well, because implementing AI systems requires solving infrastructure challenges that most engineering teams have never really dealt with before. Traditional software development focuses on deterministic systems. They just serve the same response to the same input every single time. AI systems are dynamic and non-deterministic. They constantly processing context making decisions and generating unique responses. And this creates three major infrastructure challenges that most engineering teams have never dealt with before. Number one, production MLOps at scale. This is essentially DevOps, but for AI models. With regular applications, you deploy code and it behaves the same way every time. But AI models can experience model drift, their performance degrades over time as real world data differs from their training data. A customer service AI that worked perfectly in January might actually start giving poor responses by March because customer inquiries have evolved. You need specialized infrastructure that can continuously monitor model performance, detect when accuracy drops below acceptable thresholds, automatically trigger retraining with fresh data, and deploy updated models without downtime. Now, a lot of companies try using traditional CI CD tools, but AI models require infrastructure that handles version control for massive data sets, manages GPU resources, and coordinates between data scientists and DevOps teams. Number two is legacy system integration. Integration. Connecting modern AI models and agents with existing enterprise systems is incredibly complex. Most large companies run on technology stacks built 10 to 20 years ago. That's why we're building AI factories and data centers specifically designed for AI workloads. But these takes years to build and deploy at scale. Meanwhile, we're still faced with the same issues. Current systems weren't designed to work with modern AI models that expect JSON APIs and real-time data streams. Getting AI to work means building complex data integration layers. You you extract customer data from legacy systems, transform it into the format that your AI model expects, process it through your model, and then feed the recommendations back into business workflows designed for human decision makers. You're handling the latency and the reliability challenges of connecting systems that were never really meant to work together. Number three is AI security vulnerabilities. AI systems face completely new categories of security threats that traditional cybersecurity tools don't address. I don't really think we've even scratched the surface of the AI cyber threats yet. And we've recently seen studies of AI being able to avoid detection and lie. Things that it has never really been programmed to do. Prompt injection attacks involve crafting malicious inputs that trick AI systems into ignoring their original instructions. An attacker might submit a customer service request containing hidden instructions telling the AI to reveal confidential information or even approve unauthorized actions. Model theft happens when attackers make thousands of API calls, analyzing responses to reverse engineering 
engineer the underlying model and steal proprietary algorithms. Data poisoning involves introducing malicious examples into training data sets so AI models learn to behave incorrectly. Now, traditional security tools, firewalls, intrusion detection systems don't protect against these threats because they target the AI decision-making process rather than the underlying infrastructure. And these are just some of the biggest gaps that companies are struggling with right now. And they are all creating massive demand for engineers who can solve them. But here is the thing. These current production challenges are just the beginning. There's an even bigger shift coming that's going to make these problems look like the tip of the iceberg. Jensen Kuang recently declared that 2025 is the year of AI agents. What he means is that we are moving from reactive AI to autonomous AI systems. Let me explain the difference. Current AI is reactive. You ask ChatGPT a question, it gives you an answer and that's it. But autonomous AI systems can work independently for hours or days, making decisions and taking actions without any constant human supervision. Some people are saying that we already have AI agents, but they are actually just referring to event-driven architecture. And I hate to break it to you, but the no-code tools that you are using aren't AI agents. Now, the problem is that our current infrastructure wasn't designed for this. When you have thousands of AI agents making autonomous decisions, all simultaneously coordinating with each other and taking real action in your business systems, the infrastructure requirements explode. Jensen Huang revealed that AI now requires easily 100 times more computation than anyone expected just a year ago. But we're not even accounting for the agentic AI era and how much computation that that will require. And it's not just about better models. It's about a completely different system architectures. And to understand how big this shift is, let's consider what autonomous AI agents actually need to do. They need to maintain long-term memory across conversations that might last days or weeks. Traditional web apps handle requests that last seconds. They need to coordinate with dozens of other AI agents and external services simultaneously. Now, most business software was built for human-driven workloads with clear start and stop points, whereas agents need to make decisions about when to escalate to humans, when to take autonomous action, and how to handle failures the right way. And we've never really built systems with this level of decision-making autonomy before. Think about it. Are we going to ever trust AI agents to work autonomously around the clock in production with real customer data, I don't know. It's a massive security risk. The gap between what's needed and what exists is enormous. And the gap is creating massive opportunities right now. AI infrastructure engineering, building systems that can deploy, monitor, and scale autonomous AI agents reliably. Traditional systems handle thousands of users making predictable requests. AI agent systems need to handle thousands of autonomous agents, each making unique decisions and then generating different computational loads. You need infrastructure that can dynamically allocate resources, monitor AI agent behavior in real time and recover gracefully when agents make unexpected decisions. Next, we have AI security architecture, designing security for systems where AI agents can execute code, modify data, and make financial decisions autonomously. Traditional security assumes humans make all the important decisions. You authenticate a human, authorize their actions, and audit what they did. But what happens when an AI agent can approve transactions or modify customer records based on its own analysis? You need security frameworks that can monitor machine decision-making in real time, audit AI reasoning, and set boundaries on autonomous actions. Now, these security models don't exist yet. Then we have AI economics and optimization, making AI systems cost-effective at scale. Current advanced AI models can cost thousands of dollars per complex query. Running thousands of autonomous agents 24-7 could bankrupt most companies at current pricing. You need expertise in optimizing AI workloads, managing computational resources efficiently, and understanding when to use edge computing versus cloud processing. And these aren't skills that you just learn in boot camps. They require deep systems thinking and hands-on experience with complex infrastructure challenges. That's why we're seeing such an aggressive talent war in Silicon Valley right now for the best AI talent, because you can't just learn this from getting a few certifications. Now, let me explain why all of this, the infrastructure crisis, is the best thing that could happen to engineers right now. Essentially, it's the whole new realm of opportunity opportunities. We saw this with the move to cloud computing, the shift to mobile-first development, and the adoption of microservice architectures. The autonomous AI transition is bigger than all of those combined. Every company will need to rebuild their systems to support AI agents, and the infrastructure requirements are completely different from anything that we have built before. And right now, almost nobody really has these skills. Engineers who 
develop expertise in AI infrastructure, security and optimization will become incredibly valuable. This isn't about competing with AI or try avoid being replaced. It's about building systems that make AI work reliably in production. Now, here is how you should position yourself as an engineer to take advantage of this opportunity. Firstly, you wanna leverage your existing domain expertise. And this is actually the most powerful approach. If you work in healthcare, finance, legal, or any industry that you already understand the real problems that need solving. Instead of trying to become a general AI expert, you wanna focus on how AI can solve specific problems in your field or in your domain. Focus on cloud infrastructure for AI workloads because cloud and AI are inseparable right now. So start by learning how AI systems actually run in the cloud. Most AI applications are using services like AWS SageMaker or Google Cloud AI platform. Understanding how to deploy models to these platforms gives you immediate practical skills that companies need right now. You also wanna learn the basics of AI system monitoring because AI systems behave differently than regular applications. So they will also need different monitoring approaches. So start with understanding how to track model performance, set up alerts when AI systems aren't working properly and learn basic troubleshooting techniques. This is something that you can learn by deploying simple AI projects and watching how they behave. Also, you wanna understand AI security fundamentals and begin with the basics. How to secure AI APIs, protect training data, and implement proper access controls. Now, you don't need to become a security expert overnight, but understanding these fundamentals makes you so much more valuable than engineers who can only focus on the AI models themselves. Next, you wanna bridge the gap between AI and the business needs. Learn to translate between what AI can do and what businesses actually need. This means understanding both the technical capabilities and the business constraints. And the key insight here is that you don't need to become an expert in everything overnight. You wanna start with one area, get practical experience, experience and then build from there. The most valuable position is combining your existing domain expertise with practical AI implementation skills. Now, while everyone is focused on the service level AI gold rush, building chatbots, creating no code solutions, starting AI agencies, the real opportunity is much deeper. The infrastructure layer that makes autonomous AI systems possible doesn't exist yet. The security frameworks, optimizing techniques and deployment patterns are all being figured out right now. And companies will pay the most amount of money for engineers who can solve these problems because they're essentially for the next phase of AI adoption. So while others are chasing the fake AI hype, smart engineers are positioning themselves to build the infrastructure that powers the autonomous AI future. That's where the real opportunities are in AI. And that's exactly where you should be focusing all your energy on. Good luck.